Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to do an interesting test just by using the CC4, the Character Creator 4 Headshot version 2, the Mesh Workflow to convert the G5 avatar, the Mr. Chuck and Miss Queen into Character Creator 4 avatar, what we call the CC4 avatar. Mr. Chuck and Miss Queen are from Icron 5, the G5 avatar, and we are going to try this. So first, as demo, I'm going to use Queen. I drag it into my character creator 4. And the first step, I'm going to export as FBX. But everything must be in t post. I go to the content, go to the animation here, choose the animation, the motion, the pose. The pose is at here. Use the calibrations. You should be able to find the t post. Drag and drop to green. Then once she's in a t post. Then you can export it as FBX. Click File, Export, FBX, the cloth character. The ta target tool presets, I choose Maya. The FBX option, I choose Mesh only. Then I click Export. And as demo, I'm going to export it in the same folder, the G5 character. I copy this destination location and Control V to, pr to paste it here. Press Enter. The file name, I will name this as Queen as well. I click Save. Now, then open back the Headshot version 2, start to create a new project to clear everything. Then import the FBX, drag and drop, import as a prop, that's all. Right, the first step, just save the hair, but to save the hair, you have to go to the scene. Look at green and select the hair, this is the RL hair. Then, at here, convert to sub-item. Now, this RL hair, it, it is a sub-item already. Then, go back to the content, save it as a prop. We just want the hairstyle. Under the custom, we save it as a prop. Save. Name this as Queen's hair. Now, next, back to the scene. Make sure you select the RL face. Select the face. Then go to the headshot version 2, the mesh workflow, start head generation. We are going to convert Gwen to become the CC4 avatar. Now, next I untick the sign camera. Then I view in wireframe on shade. Black. Then I click and as demo, I just expand like this. It's better. Then 35 auto detection to, to let it auto detect it, but you need to move it properly as well. Let's say the eyes.
make sure both sides are balanced then the eyebrow select properly the first point is the eyebrow the point 15 should be here then what else the point 16 should be here Nineteen. Eighteen should be here. Seventeen should be here. Point twenty one. Twenty three, twenty, twenty two, point twenty four. Next is 25, the year 26, 27, 28. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, the top of the head is here, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. Thirty four and thirty five. Done. Once done already, just click head generation AI. Once you feel satisfied already, then just click refine the mesh.
then attached to body she's a female no mass generate done we just have a check this is the original queen and now this is the cc4 queen So just now I already saved the queen's hair. I just double click it to apply it on avatar. I click here and choose attach to and pick the parents to attach it to here. Now it already attached to CC base head. Like this and then we need to adjust the eyes the eyeball just that double click green adjust the eyeball here I search eyeball the iris You have to scroll down, go to the face, go to the head, the eye, eyeball, scale. I can just put to 150 it's okay to make sure it is the same size 170 and then the eye depth the eyeball depth done now this is the cc4 version cc4 version of queen i'm going to hide this cc4 queen queen is already back to cc4 it is really awesome
and I may save this as a new avatar, a CC4 avatar. I will go to the content and then template, sorry, it should be custom, avatar. Or I may just save as, click file, save as, save the project as on my desktop. G5 character win CC project save so now this is exactly the queen that already converted from G5 Icron 5 to CC4 Right. That's all for today about my sharing and my trial and error to convert the G5 queen into the CC4 avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you.